We are waiting now for an update from local and federal investigators in the case of a missing five-year-old boy. He is Andrew Friend, also known as AJ. His parents say they last saw him in their Crystal Lake home Wednesday night. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe is live in Crystal Lake with what we know right now about the search. Mugo, what have you learned? Well, after several calls, police are still staying very tight-lipped about the investigation. The family's home is right behind me, and we haven't seen any police officers or a search team out here as of yet. We did get to speak to neighbors this morning, and they tell us the family's home has been in bad condition for a while now. You can see a broken window just outside. Several neighbors also say there were up to fights and arguments between the couple who lived in the home and that police officers have been called out. Out several times. Police spent much of the day yesterday searching for five year old Andrew Friend. They talked, they looked through backyards, trash cans, and even used a dog to search Andrew's parents' trunk. We know firefighters and dive teams search Crystal Lake itself. Andrew's parents say they put him to bed at nine on Wednesday night and that he was missing when they woke up the next day. Here's what one neighbor had to say. I didn't sleep. I doubt very many neighbors slept during the night. It, I, I just couldn't sleep thinking about it. It's, it's a five-year-old that we all know, even if not, you know, personally over at our homes. You know, I've, he's been over trick-or-treating and things like that. And your heart just breaks. It's a five-year-old. I mean, where is he? You're looking at another picture of five-year-old Andrew, friend also known as AJ. We knocked on the door of the home this morning and no one answered it. It seems no one is inside at this point. Again, we're still waiting to hear more from police as to exactly where they are in the investigation. We'll update you as new information is made available. Live in Crystal Lake, Mugo Digwe, CBS 2 News.